What's up, YouTube? If you're preparing for a technical coding interview, please try doing a mock interview, but as the interviewer, because there's a lot of things that people do as interviewees that you probably would never pay attention to. But when you're on the other side, you'll see them instantly, and they are dead giveaways that you're going to have a rough time. I've done a bunch of mock interviews with the members of my private group, so I thought I'd save us all some time and share with you the biggest mistake that I see, and I see it all the time. It's a very easy mistake to make, but if you want to land the software engineering job of your dreams, we need to fix it. But before we get started, today's video is brought to you by my desk. It's from FlexiSpot. It's a motorized standing desk. Look at that. That is fire. I absolutely love it. FlexiSpot is running a promotion for Amazon Prime Day. On July 15th, for only 24 hours, this desk in multiple colors is going on sale from a retail price of around 380 US dollars down to under 270. The link is gonna be in the description below. Put it on your calendars, July 15th, only 24 hours. So anyways, the biggest mistake that I see on the coding interview is that you're writing code. You actually shouldn't write any code until you kind of know how to solve the problem. A lot of times I'll give someone a really hard algorithm interview question and the solution is some convoluted dynamic programming garbage with like memoization, a bunch of stacks and pointers, and I'll finish explaining the question and then two seconds later they're like, okay, so I'll start writing my for loop and the second they write the F, it's nap time because the chances that you keep spewing out code and somehow end up with the correct solution is so close to zero that you might as well be writing Gucci main lyrics. You really don't need to code right away. You have like 35 minutes to solve an interview problem. If I were to explain to you the solution and say, code it, it would take you like five minutes to write it out. But trying to come up with an algorithm that solves the problem while you're writing code is like a million times harder than doing one at a time for three reasons. First of all, if you write code that's unnecessary or not correct, you'll be mentally biased in the wrong direction. You'll try to keep building off the code you have because you subconsciously don't want to be wrong. It's an interview. It's like if you're solving a Rubik's cube and you just start making turns and you don't really know where you're going, you're just scrambling it more. The more complex your code already is, the narrower your thinking is going to become. So it's important to iron out your solution before you try to code something out. Second of all, the literal actions of erasing code, cleaning up a whiteboard, and rewriting it, that takes a lot of time. Even just deleting code, reformatting, and typing on an editor, that takes time too. Try to be aware of this the next time you're practicing an interview question, you realize it eats so much into your time. And then third, the biggest issue here is that humans don't think in code. People think in natural language and pictures. While you're writing code, your brain is constantly translating it into explanations of what the code does. And if you're trying to do this while you're thinking of an algorithm for solving the problem, you're gonna lose so much mental energy to switching between the two back and forth and you're gonna be stressed out. It's not gonna work that well. Human brains are not wired to handle more than one thing at a time, well at least. So it's important to start separating these two parts of the process and that that takes a lot of patience, discipline, and experience, so try to rack up as much realistic experience as you can. So what I recommend is you first just sit back and think about the question, and then draw out visualizations just so you understand it, and then talk through it with your interviewer. State all of the assumptions that you're making, and ask a lot of questions that go through in your head. Try to sound as reasonable as you can, and once you can explain how you're kind of going to solve the problem, then start coding. You shouldn't write a single line of code until you can convince yourself why you're doing so. Because if you can't convince yourself, there's no way you're going to convince an interviewer. And even if you don't need to do this step and you can just write code and nail it right there, the interviewer has seen so many struggle interviews that they're just going to clock out. They'll be like, okay, yeah, buddy, write your little code. You're going to delete it soon. Go ahead. You wanna minimize the number of times that your interviewer thinks that you don't know something that they know. The point of this isn't really to write code that solves the problem because they have the solution. The point of this is to convince a human that you know what you're doing and this comes with communication, patience, and having a method. You think you look really slick by diving into it 
and you don't. It's very obvious if you don't know how to solve the problem. So try interviewing someone. You will see what I mean very quickly. And that's all I have for you today. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet, but if you want to see more content on software engineering and career development, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you have any questions or you want to work together personally, shoot me a message on Instagram. I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.